So, day two, second flight. I've still only got one battery, so uh, it'll still be short. Uh, but I'm going to try the goggles this time because uh, when I flew it yesterday, uh, you know, really can't see what's going on when it gets a little bit far, far away from you. And with only six minutes, I don't have much time to recover it. So I'm going to give these a try. I've got my spotter behind the camera, and he's going to watch where the drone crash, I mean, where the drone goes, um, in case there's any more crashing involved. Yeah. Starting off on my uh, trusty picnic mat again, because the ground's still kind of damp, and I realised yesterday uh, that it provides a bit of uh, cushioning when you um, land, uh, if I can land it, as opposed to crashing into any trees. So, we're on, we're connected. I'd stand back if I were you, Spotter. Uh, there aren't too many people around. I'll start off in uh, baby angle mode. Right, okay, hold on. For practice landing. Right, I've removed the annoying battery alarm because it doesn't actually seem to do anything other than beep, which could be useful, but I've got a spotter, so I don't need it. Obviously. Uh, so let's uh, let's try again. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take off without the goggles. Right, I'm still in angle mode, but I'm going for goggles. Oh my god, this is so cool. And my heart beat my heart's beating at about 300 times a minute. But I'm getting a great view. Well I know I'm still in angle mode and everything. But still, it leans over a bit when I turn. Oh, bit of picture break up. Right, I'm gonna go for a fast one towards the corner of the field. I may need to put the camera up and higher the angle. Oh, some people. I'm going to try switching to uh, horizon mode. Watch your heads. Two circles. Not entirely sure which field we're in now. Though. This is great.
move the sticks very much. Managing to do some coordinated turns, which means moving the left stick and the right stick at the same time to go around the corner, otherwise it tends to slide out the air. My uh, FPV camera angle is a bit on the low side, I reckon. But at least it's keeping me slow and within the field. People seem to recommend that you should learn these things line of sight. I can't see how that works. This is a much better flight than I had yesterday, purely because I can see exactly what the drone's doing. Okay, so I'll probably try and come in for a landing. away from us. I'm on the mat. <laughs> I'm on the mat even if it is a little bit upside down. That was so cool. Ah. It lives to fly another day again. I think the battery must have been getting a bit low towards the end because I was having to push harder on the throttle to um, keep it in the air, which is why I kind of dumped it on the mat rather than trying to do anything clever. Well, there's the problem with the uh, FPV camera. It is somewhat floppy and it, it seems to have pointed down a bit, although that might have been when I landed. Could have been when I landed the first time. I need to check that before I take off every flight, I think. Um, the goggles experience, brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, get a little bit of picture break up every so often, but uh, generally pretty good picture. It even deals fairly well with the sun. I mean, it's a black spot, but you know, um, it's quite low and uh, quite bright. And um, Seemed fine. So um, today's flight, thumbs up, successful. <laughs>